In this tutorial, I want to give you an overview of our admin options area. So if you're logged in as an administrator, you can go to dashboard theme options. And from here, we've got a bunch of different options. So we've got, uh, I'll just go through very quickly. We've got logo, you can turn on or off the site logo. And if you do that, that will replace the logo up here. So if you turn it on, you can upload a logo. Layout, we've got some layout options. For example, we can turn on the WordPress admin bar and that will give us back the toolbar up here for, for admins. And the social portfolio theme is really good at detecting what kind of screen you're using. If you're on a desktop, tablet, or phone, it's got mobile detection. So you can pick which layout you want to be the default. We have the desktop layout and of course we've got our really nice mobile layout. So you can select uh, what you want to be the default loaded on all the different types of devices. We've got the buddy panel which is this left panel which contains links and we'll show you how to set that up in a little bit. And we've got some options for that. Homepage slides. On your homepage you can have a slider, an image slider that will display through images with text on the slides. And so here it's pretty easy. You can turn on the homepage slides and you can upload a, a slide from your media gallery, give it a title, description, etc add as many slides as you want, reorder them, and they will all display here. And then we've got really nice typography settings. All the different text areas throughout the site, you can change what font you want, the font size, etc. And you'll notice we're using the Google library, so there's tons of fonts in here. Styling, we have really advanced styling options. Um, you can change pretty much every single color throughout the theme. There's so many different color options, you can control every little detail. And then we have the footer. You can change the footer text and add some social icons, which we'll display down here. BuddyPress content. So uh, this theme is meant to be run running with BuddyPress. And so we have lots of options for different BuddyPress areas, particularly in the profile headers. So I'm going to pause for a moment and set up some profile fields. OK, so here we are in users profile fields. And you see I've set up some. I've got location. And I've got website set up as a URL type field. And I've also got a, a bio field as a big text area. OK, so now if I go to my profile and edit it, I'm going to fill out some content in these fields. I'll say Chicago, USA. OK, and then we're going to go back to our theme options and we can do something cool here. We can set the uh, first displayed field to be location and you can do, the, do these as whatever you want. Second one is website, third one as bio. And then when we go back, back to view my profile, we display this stuff up here. So uh, you can make these whatever you want and you can change the icons just using font awesome. Uh, icons and this is really useful for a portfolio site where you want a little bit of a bio about your users um, and then there's some other options in here and we can go to WordPress content and we can customize the WordPress login screen so that instead of just being a WordPress logo you can have your own icon in there and change the colors and the background etc and custom codes here you can add tracking code like Google Analytics. You can add some custom CSS if you just need to make a quick little edit to the way the theme looks, JavaScript. And we can turn on minification of CSS and JavaScript, which will make the site load a lot faster. We've got some recommended plugins you can add. And then in the support section, we've got our tutorial videos to help you out. And then one really cool thing is import export. So here, let's say you've made all kinds of changes to uh, the theme options and you want to migrate your site to another server, or maybe you want help with support and you want someone to be able to see all the settings you have, you can very easily export all of your options. And you can also import the options and it'll make the theme on another site replicate all the same options you've got. And then one last thing I'd like to show you is that we integrate with the native WordPress customizer. So I showed you before that in the styling section, you can change colors throughout, but you can also go to Appearance Customize where all those same color options are replicated. 
So in the styling section, we can do things like change the background. And uh, you'll notice that you're seeing a live preview. So let's change the body panel to pink. And so you're seeing a live preview of all the changes. And then if we refresh it on the front end, you'll see those changes took place. So that's a really cool way of editing colors as well.